Some guy's been harassing me on Instagram all morning because he doesn't like my tippet ring jokes. I'm not even making that up for this video. That's really happening right now. What a loser. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Today's video is about tippet rings. More specifically, my beef with tippet rings. Maybe you're watching this because you already know that I like to hate on tippet rings. Well, listen, I don't care how you fish. I don't care if you like to use tippet rings. I just like to poke you and get a reaction because it's fun and it's just so easy. Also, I just like to complain about things that are stupid like Tenkara, snowboarding, posting your political opinions online, and tippet rings. People are legitimately upset over my feelings about tippet rings. Relax. If my opinion of tippet rings is causing you stress, you're either taking fishing too seriously or you're taking my videos too seriously. Probably both. It is mind boggling how many people watch every video I make just so they can leave a comment and tell me that I'm wrong or that I suck. First of all, I know that I suck. I'm well aware. Secondly, why do you keep watching? Just stop. It's really easy. Or don't. That's fine with me too. I'll take your clicks and enjoy living rent free in your head. Anyway, back on topic. What is a tippet ring? Well, it's a small ring. There are a lot of ways to use them, but typically you would tie a tippet ring onto the end of your leader and then attach a piece of tippet to that tippet ring. So instead of just tying one knot, you get to tie two. I guess that's better? I've been publicly shaming tippet rings for a while now, and a lot of you have come to their defense. The most common positive thing I hear about them is that they conserve tippet. Like when you break your tippet off, you're not chewing up the end of your leader when you're tying on more tippet. My response to that is, Jesus, people, how much tippet are you using to tie knots? I can tie almost any knot I need with about this much tippet, but maybe that's just because I'm better than you. Listen, if you're the type of angler that's measuring out your tippet length with a micrometer, you're gonna love tippet rings. All right, now let's talk about my biggest beef with tippet rings. You're a fly fisherman, right? What initially attracted you to fly fishing? Was it the art of the cast, the snobbery, the beauty of nature, the potential for internet clout? For me, one of the main appeals of fly fishing was the simplicity of the gear. It feels like modern fly fishermen want to get away from this, but the gear and rigging in fly fishing is a lot more simple than regular fishing. Why are you making it more complicated by adding a tippet ring? You want more crap on your line when you're casting? I think a lot of you need a good dose of fishing with a single dry fly. It's quite pleasant. In closing, again, I don't care how you fish. I don't care if you use tippet tippet rings, and you shouldn't care if I make fun of them. Who the hell am I? Just some dude on the internet with a big mouth. But I do want you to understand one thing. You don't have to use tippet rings. Make your own decisions about what works for you in fly fishing. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back as soon as I can with another huge fly fisherman video for you. Until then, consider giving Tenkara a try. I'm just kidding. Stay huge. I will admit that tippet rings are more useful than leader straighteners. I'll give you that.